What is going on YouTube? It is Nightfire Plays back here with a brand new video. If you missed my previous video, that was me talking about some more Fall for speculation, speculation, insane speculation. And, uh, please check it out. It's pretty insane. I hope it happens one day. I hope it ha or actually, I hope it happens again that Obsidian Entertainment can make another Fall game for us. But today, I am going to be teaching you guys or give you a little tips and tricks on how to get easy easy dark matter camo within like three weeks so let's get straight into it so i've been playing this game quite a while this is some old gameplay me playing arena with my buddies uh so i hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background but to get to the real deal i've been grinding black ops 3 for the past two weeks just trying to get dark matter camo i've got in the submachine guns diamond assault rifles shotgun sniper rifles and any one more light machine gun and I'm almost done with the launchers. I just need to do the black cell to get that gold. I need to work on the combat knife and the three pistols still. But I'm going to give you a straight tips and tricks on how to easily get diamond cam for all those classes. For, so let's get started with the submachine guns. Straight, straight and simple. Aim at the head. Play. I recommend playing Nuketown. Play Safeguard. I always recommend playing Safeguard for getting headshots and getting a lot of kills because those game, that game. Like, a game of Safeguard could last a long time, and you could get the same amount of kills, and same amount of headshots, because I'm really good at aiming at the head. It's been no problems with me. I haven't really had to play hardcore to get headshots. So, with some machine guns, are straight and easy, because all the guns uh, in the submachine gun category are OP. Now, moving on to the assault rifles. Again, same thing. All the assault rifles are good. Use high caliber. Use the ELO sight or red dot sight. I also recommend that for the submachine guns as well. Use a sight, not an iron sight. Never recommend iron sights. Always use a red dot. Always, always use an ELO sight. Grip, high caliber. You're gonna get headshots pretty easily. Again, I recommend Safeguard or Nuketown, like for a map like Nuketown, Chaos Mosh Pit. And yeah, that's really it. Just aim at the head. High caliber is really good because it does increase damage to headshots. Now move on to the shotguns. I recommend playing Nuketown. Same thing. The Breck is good, you could probably use that on any map. The uh, KRM is good. Make sure you use Long Barrel because that's going to be really helpful. And use Stock as well and use a Red Dot Sight. For the Haymaker, however, it's probably one of the worst shotguns in the game and I hate, I hated using that piece of shit weapon, but I recommend just going to Nuketown with it, just Nuketown for the Haymaker and that's it. Argus, use it on any map. Argus is pretty easy to get uh, one shots with, while the Brecky and Haymaker you get to get headshots with. So remember, Brecky aim at the head, Haymaker aim at the head, and the KRM uh, is a, is a one, uh, you have to get one shots. So that's the challenge, and that's pretty uh, self explanatory. Light machine guns, same thing, safeguard. Make sure you put have a red dot or elo sight. Make sure you have quick draw and grip on your guns. Safeguard again, nuke town if you want. Maybe uh, Domination would be good. Domination would be actually uh, kind of great for light machine guns, considering that a lot of people will be on the objective. The same thing as Safeguard. Moving on, Sniper Rifles. For the Draken, I recommend actually going to Hardcore, because I actually did have to go to Hardcore to get one shots. Like, play Domination Hardcore. I got a lot of kills, a lot of one shots. For the Locust. I really hate the Locust because I get a lot of hit markers. Same time, I do like it though. I recommend going to Hardcore for the Locust or Safeguard or Domination. Again, not really for attachments. Uh, it's up to you, really. There's no high caliber or anything like that. Just make sure you get those one shots on the chest or head. Same thing with SVG. The SVG is actually a one shot all around. That should be an easy, uh, easy weapon. The PO6, um, I recommend still playing Safeguard, because Safeguard actually would be really good for that. Just stay in one spot, you'll get one shots. You don't really need to go hardcore unless you really need to. Moving on to pistols, I have used the pistols. I have gotten a lot of headshots with the MR6. I recommend going hardcore, Team Deathmatch, or Domination. Make sure you use a Reflex Sight, Quick Draw, Long Barrel, whatever you need to use to get those headshots. The RK5 and the MR6 are pretty easy. The LCAR is really inaccurate. Um, I still recommend going to hardcore with it, but then you eventually get those headshots. Just aim, just spray with the LCAR on the head. Same with the RK5 because it's semi-automatic. MR6, you don't really need spray. You can take your time, shoot, make sure hopefully they're not looking at you so you can take your time. Um, the launchers, I recommend playing ground war it's it's a time basis, you know. You got to score 100 score streaks. I recommend playing ground war just because there could be UAVs all over the place. 
Harn Sentry's Guardians. And obviously, obviously, after you destroy the Hunter Score Streaks, you gotta get um, destroyed like 10 Guardians, Harn and Sentries, or Power Cells. I recommend going to Ground War for that again. The same as the Talons and Cerberuses, you gotta destroy 5 of those. And then the Combat Knife, I recommend just playing Nuketown. Make sure you smoke, like use the Ghost Perk, use Blast Suppression, use Dead Silence. Use those things for the Combat Knife, because Combat Knife is really hard. Make sure you camp a little bit in corners to get those Bloodthirsties. But that's all I have for tips and tricks. Hopefully that was a quick, that was a quick, quick rundown. I'm not gonna go through all, all of them in depth. It's pretty self-explanatory. You guys know what I'm saying, but YouTube, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Really, I really love the support so far, but YouTube, make the right decisions in life, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Love you guys. Love you.